Hey, let's see if this is gonna work. Oh, you can hear me. Awesome. Awesome. That's really good. Thanks, Richard. How are you? Thanks for joining me. All right. Another question is. Can you hear? Can you hear that? Uh, low volume. What about now? Could you hear any music playing? I'm good, thanks, Richard. Well, I'm glad that you can uh, hear me now. Let's see, maybe if I have the microphone... This close to my mouth will be a bit better. Oh, that's harsh. Okay, you couldn't hear the music coming through. Mm, interesting. No worries at all. Sounds good. How are you both? I'm just uh, quickly checking something. Do you hear anything then? If not, that's fine. Maybe I'll, I'll do music some other time. <laughs> I was just trying to get some uh, chill music happening. All right, before it gets late, start to Alrighty, no worries, no worries, that's fine. Won't worry about the music. Uh, I'll I'll figure that out another time. <laughs> I think that'll just make things a little bit... Uh, I think the music will make it a little bit better, but I'll figure that out another time. Um, right now I'm just 
I restarted designing the um, main plate for the watch. So here is the um, third wheel recess and hole, uh, the fourth wheel, the escape wheel. I know that looks a bit funny, um, but that's how it is off center um, on the, the movement. Um, only because the pinion sits at the bottom. And it needs clearance, but then the wheel needs clearance uh, around this height here. So I'm experimenting. I'm going to design a bridge for the third wheel, and I'm using like um, these alignment pins and like posts. So there's going to be screw hole in here, and then the uh, bridge that I'm going to draw will, will sit on the top, and the screws will, will come down. That's uh, that's the game plan. We'll see how that goes. Going for something a little bit different. I like like when you're looking at the watch, how it looks so clean. And uh, yeah, that's what I that's what I'm going for. Just a really clean look. You can see the bottom of the the top of the main plate. Sorry, if you look in from an open case back. So this one's a little different, so I'm just going to remove that and oh, create a copy of this one. Oh. oh, that didn't work. Hang on. Too many origins. That's okay. Now I just need to move this one up. They're both sitting nice and flush. Yeah, that's right, Richard. So the alignment pins, so in here, oh, sorry. Uh, so in the base, you can see these three holes. So these are the alignment pin holes, which are like this. And then these pins will sit in and then I'm going to put the threaded hole through here. And then the bridge, which I'm going to draw is going to sit on the top of here, sit flush on this recess. And then a screw will come down from the top to secure it. We'll see how it goes, um, in terms of its, um, structural rigidity. That's the word that I'm looking for. Um, you know, I want to test it out. Old uh, pocket watches um, back in the day, especially English, I believe used similar design. And that way, instead of like recessing out the bridge of a normal watch, it's controlled by the height of the pins here. There we go. So it'll be something like that. I'll just do it on here. Yeah, thanks, Richard. I think it's a bit different. Uh, and that way, like, if you're looking at the movement from the top, 
you'll be able to see all this main play like just real clear I, i'm just trying to get it as clean as i can obviously i'm going to be guided as well by what recesses are required in the main plate but the rest i can try and try and make it as best as possible so yeah now i'm going to try and design the bridge for the third wheel I don't know how this is going to work actually. Starting a sketch. I just want it on that plane. I don't know if it's. And all that off. Are the regulation system? Hmm. Possibly. You see a lot of. I guess like it's kind of like a lot of turbion bridges as well, and a lot of balance bridges. Yeah. Actually, in the modern ones, it's yeah the steel bridge that that usually holds the balance wheel. Um, Now, I'm going to try and offset this. One mil. see how this is going to work <laughs> I don't know uh
Well, so do you like uh, do you like my Mandalorian mug? <laughs> my wife bought me the other day. I'm really into that uh, series, that TV series. Okay. Uh. And. I just got to think um, the, the whole, maybe one point. Two five, one point two five. Okay, let's finish the sketch, and I'm going to extrude. Okay. Let's extrude all this. Hmm. I'm not sure. What do you guys think? I wonder if it's going to have the... Stability. You know what? Hang on. Let me just do that again. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, you like that? Thanks, Richard. It's like a modern skeleton, yeah? Yeah. And just... And it... I really like how clean it is, like, underneath. Like, that's all that should be visible. Obviously, you'll see the wheel in here, but... Just under this part, like the actual base. Like I reckon that's really cool. It's something you don't see, like everything seems so covered.
And then maybe this piece is going to be like going to be brass. No, maybe we'll put like a a fillet. Maybe a chamfer. I don't think I'll be able to. Oh. Yeah, let's see if I can put a chamfer or. So point one seven five. Yeah, it's gonna be point two because that's a. Oh, holy moly! <laughs> yeah, it's easy. It's easy to do it on the computer. It's another thing trying to bring it to life. <laughs> Thanks, Richard. I appreciate that, man. Oh. Cause then that should be like the jewel hole right in there. The only thing is that jewel's gonna be sitting really low, which is fine. Point six. Ah, it's not much. That's really good, actually. And then... Uh, we put a... Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I am. Um, I kind of like. I wanted the. The bridge. I wanted it wider than these actual column bases here. So it's like slightly wider. I don't know why. I just like that. Um, that look of like. Dimension. I, I don't know what it is. I really can't explain it, but on my screws as well. Um, I'll show you what I mean. I won't actually like draw the threaded screw. Maybe just the top. I, I want the screw head like fully exposed as well. Like the, the whole screw head and a little bit of, of a shaft. And just like make really nice handmade screws in still really high polished and just like show them off i think i think that's what's important and and maybe i'll leave these like really really square i i don't know it's uh right now owen i've got no watch on unfortunately i um my last watch that i had uh it was like um i really like the design of the um seven fridays and uh, and i had one in rose gold and i i had to sell it actually when i was buying uh the lathe that's behind me the little watchmaker's lathe just in uh, in putting all the my resources into achieving one one dream, I think.
Yeah. Looks a bit plain Jane though, just with um how that is now. But I think that looks okay actually. It's got one mil wide. That's actually not wide at all, one mil. Mm. Sometimes I uh Don't think properly. I might have to edit this sketch. Maybe offset it. Where does two end up? Mm. Okay. Well, maybe what I can do uh, maybe I'll create like arc. Yeah, thanks, Richard. I'll try. I'll just turn these bodies off. Itch. Just constrain this line to the tangent, to both tangents of this circle. Might delete, not delete it just yet. No worries, Richard. Thanks, thanks for for joining me. Hopefully, I can go like for a few hours tonight. I'm just gonna look up in. Uh, how to bend Looking at how to um, sketch a curve line between two objects. Hi, Kurt. Kurt, how are you? Thanks for joining me.
I don't think it needs that constraint. That one. I'm good, thanks, Kurt. Just, um... Just trying to design some bridges a bit differently. Maybe I'll just do it that way. Many lines go. Hmm, that doesn't look too bad, actually. Now I'll try and get a Yeah, so if I can offset two mil each side See how that sort of comes out I did kind of like those straight lines. And how it sat in. Can I move? Oh, no, no. Hey, Kurt, George Daniels would have drawn them by hand. <laughs> Possibly. I don't know. To be honest, I think, uh, I think George, George would use the technology available. I would assume. I could be wrong, though. Who am I to think what the deceased think? But, yeah. It'd be interesting to think what he thought, actually. I've got to remember these constraints, so I don't... It's not going to work.
delete that one and have this one come around the outside. We get less tension. That constraint there. So now whatever I do, it's going to stick to the tangent of the bridge there. And I'm just going to see what happens if I do a straight line. Yeah, Roger Smith uses CAD and he has, um, he does have CNC machinery as well. And he's moving more into that way, I believe. That's what I think. I've heard. I'm not sure. I just don't want this to be so like, I need it to be rigid. One mil. <laughs> I had one mil with wide arms before. Which is way too thin, I think. Hmm. Okay, what if I had some arcs that went the other way? I mean... Uh, yeah, that looks, <laughs> that looks terrible. That looks terrible. Okay. I was thinking like this one's in to the tangent, tangent in, tangent, tangent. I don't know, it's gonna work. Hmm. All right, let's think, what, what's one mil? Too thin. I need at least two mil wide. Maybe I could get away with 1.5 width. Seems two mil is more desirable. But then two mil. 
doesn't work because it just makes it look ugly. Alright, that's two. All right, I just check. Yeah, I think like point four. I think brass is what the best I'm gonna do. Like, you don't want too much steel in the watch. I mean, that's I'm gonna make the um these pins out of steel. It's just, I think, too much magnetic material. Actually, you know... Yeah. So how's everyone... In the chat, what do you all do for a living, guys? I want to know more about the uh, you guys, man. What do you do, Richard? And what, what, whereabouts are you guys from as well? Are you guys from US, United States? I, I know there's a couple from Europe and stuff. I like that design, like that flows really well. And then England. Oh, very good. What time is it over there? Actually, I, I should. I could just that up. One point four. Well. Up oh, from Italy. That's awesome, Richard. My, um, eighteen. Ah, very good. Twelve twenty. Yeah. Like midday, right? Yeah, so you guys are like almost almost twelve hours behind. Well,
Ah, uh, Richard. Ah, uh, that's awesome. Yes. Uh, y Richard, you're in the... um, You created that Facebook group, the BHI one? Titanium Bridge. Well... I'll just let you all know that I'm going to be cutting these bridges out on the band tab. I don't think it's going to be able to handle it. Titanium. Um, uh, awesome, man. That's really good. That's a good group you got. It's because I've specified the distance for the offset, yeah. But I thought I removed that. If I modify it. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool, man. The Necklace Workshop, you're Paul, right? Is that right? From my memory. Sorry, man. I'm just going off uh, my memory, which is not very good at the best of times. Ah, uh, why is it doing that? Yeah, thanks, Richard. A hundred percent, man. Especially with COVID, dude. I got the the nineteen kilos. I've been lucky lucky to stay away from the actual COVID, but that nineteen crept up on me very quick. But I'm going to uh, definitely work on on that. Yeah, each time. I take a break and I come back, it's, uh, the pounds keep coming. All right. I think I might be happy with that. <sighs> or not. No, you know what? I don't like. Sorry, guys. Ah, uh, what is going on? Let's see how far I can offset this. One point five. All right, I think one point five is going to be the best one. Yeah, that's awesome, Paul. The you worked on the Opal travel card system. That's pretty. That's really cool. That's because you guys over there, you had the oyster. Yeah, that I love that. That's a you. You guys subway. Oh, it's really good. It's really really good. Um.
I had it there before, right? Yes, yes. That's right. Yeah. Will do, Richard, man. Ah, that's awesome. <laughs> You'll tap my brain in my work in, in your workshop. I don't think much will come out, to be honest. <laughs> but I'll let you know everything that I know. Just worried that that distance, I'm not going to be able to. No, let's keep it at 1.5. I'm going for too much. How how are you going with the um? The BHI course, Richard. When did you start that? There we go. How cool is that? It changes it as I go. Very cool. All right. So here it is, the bottom of the main plate. I got the two pins, and then I have the bridge. That that brass, when you fill it, it comes up really nice. Eh? It almost looks polished. Okay, and uh, sketches on. Ah, oh, nice, Richard. That's really cool. It is. It's a, it's a massive financial undertaking. If you're serious about it, like, I mean, yeah. Unfortunately, that's the case, yeah. How, how are you going? So you started three months ago. They reckon, like, you do one chapter a month. Is that how you're going? Or the pace is a bit faster, slower?
I'm just drawing the screw here now, but I gotta do it in halves. And then I'm gonna revolve it into a 3D object. The way I, I do fusion is not very good. I don't know it that well, but it is what it is. Uh, yeah. So I'm just designing as I go in my head as well. And, uh, All right. Okay. Ah, oh, oh no, don't say that, Richard. I feel like stuff does not sink in unless I bash it in my head just over and over again. When I get old, it's going to be even worse. Yeah, it, it's a lot of practice. How are you going with the um, practicals? Are you doing those with uh, with the filing? <laughs> Thanks, Paul. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, it's tough, yeah. I mean, even f for me, like, it's a lot of financial strain. Oh wow. Yeah, twenty K. That's that's crazy. It's <laughs> just getting some coffee. So hopefully Oh wow. Uh the in the Air Force. It's my screw. God damn. Um. Oh, wow. That's very cool. I want to see how this Oh, Richard, yeah, that's interesting. I'm not going to put the slot on there um, pretty much because I'm not that skilled yet, but
It might be 1.25. What do you reckon, gents? So, I have this little flange. I don't know why. I just, I wanted to create like some detail within like this column thing. And so I'm going to add this little flange here to the screw and have a really high head. To be honest, I'm not sure exactly how it's going to. Pan out, but. Make it a Uh, yeah, so this is the back of the, the back of the, uh, watch, um, Richard, so I'm going to be making the case, so I'll definitely make some clearance for it. Actually, I'm going to try and get the, um, uh, if I offset this. That was way too, uh, well, I forgot the decimal point. So let's trim this down.
Okay, let's see. Can I get... There we go. Guys. <laughs> oh, man. There we go. Look at that. Turn off the sketches. Ah. What do you think? Not bad for an amateur. Just want to see how it's all going to work out. Making it in real life is the hardest bit. <laughs> but you know what? Doing it on the com trying to figure out how to draw it on the computer is not that much easier, to be honest. Oh no, I can't get the R at the center. I see it's right there. Come on. Oh, there we go. I just need to just the height. Point seven five. Oh, there we go. All righty. I think that's the third wheel bridge done. It probably, it looks really weird. I'm not gonna lie. I liked it better when these arms are a bit thinner. Hmm. And uh looks like <laughs> the mid I've got my uh Out of the way, the cat. Oh man, yeah, for sure. So, CNC the bridge and then fall into the shape, try and get these sharp corners internally. 
and then do all the chamfering, polishing. I just don't know how that looks. Mm, anyway. <laughs> You have seven cats? Oh my goodness. We had two at one stage. Um, yeah, but now we just got the one. It's just too much hair everywhere. All right, now I'll put all polished stainless steel look. I don't know if it does anything. Yeah, that's the problem. I think she's like behind me now. Usually I have the door closed, but it gets really, it's really hot today, like 40, 34 degrees, super humid, and it got really hot in the garage, so. All right. Hmm. I don't think I can go any less than 1.5. Anyway, we'll see how it f turns out in the flesh, yeah? We can't go throwing out uh, the design because of... Uh, So maybe, uh, maybe the um, fourth wheel and escape wheel, I'll design it in the one bridge. <laughs> yeah, oh, uh, that's awesome. Oh, we got that, um, Lenina thing that uh, monsoon season from the equator I don't know where it originates but yeah it just started getting really humid today I like it when it's hot and the sun's out but it was raining and it was really muggy and it got to like 34 degrees Yeah, we got uh, 14 people. That's crazy. Hey guys, thanks for joining. 15 people. Pretty good. I started the stream a bit earlier than usual. We'll see how it goes. Um, or they just joined. I'm... Um, just designing the watch and the bridges for my watch. So this is the third wheel bridge. I just need to um, design it for the, the next one. So let me just check. So the thing that's super important with this is because this is just flat brass. Let me show you. 
because this is just flat brass under here and the jewels sit flush on to this surface the height is all controlled by the alignment pin so each bridge is going to have a different alignment pin height i just got to make sure that the 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 yeah the fourth wheel and escape wheel have the same height and then it should be hunky dory i think it does 0.65 so it'll be 0 0.05 mil lower than uh this this bridge here my calculations are correct I just don't know, like, if these alignment pins are in the right place. The holes. Maybe I can move one here. This is like a uh, live designing and, and drawing it up at the same time. Um, I just want to see. This is kind of the look that I'm going for. I just don't know if that V shape for the bridge that I'm completely happy with. But the way this screw bridge um, alignment pin stack is, I like that design and I like how that that's kind of come up. Um, not, f not for these watches, Richard. At the beginning, I'm just going to use the wheels from the ETA 6498-1. And I'm going to be making the main plate and the bridges, the case, the doll, the hands. Um, and then if I can, <laughs> hopefully I can, uh, maybe someone out there would like to buy it. We'll see how it turns out. And uh, it can like fund like the next one, which will be adding a complication. And then eventually... Eventually, I want to be to a stage where I'll be manufacturing everything. Yeah. So we'll see how we'll see how everything goes. Um, you know, if things don't work out, maybe I'll just do the um, the George Daniels pocket watch. That'll be. I've always wanted to do that. I just don't have the time, obviously. I'd love to be doing this full time, but it is what it is. I'll get there one day. I just got to keep working at it. This would be like a weird M if I do. Let me see if um um I'm a civil engineer. I do like uh, roads and drainage stormwater. That's what I'm involved in with like uh, plans and, and construction, the works and stuff. All right. 
think these will be two bridges. I'll have a separate bridge for the uh, escape wheel. Mm, I think that should work out. Uh, third wheel bridge. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, the good thing about with stormwater is you can bury your mistakes. All the stormwater drainage pipes, it's all underground. No one will see. <laughs> Watch this is a bit different. Every little floor will show up. Uh, Okay, I'm going to call this third wheel into A Pink Floyd? Oh, that's pretty awesome, Richard. Um, I, uh... Depends. I usually listen to, like, podcasts. Um, I don't know, just in the background. Yeah, sometimes I listen to... Some guys like to motivate me a bit. Um, especially when you're like really tired. I don't know. I, f I find that sometimes that helps. But usually it's just pod podcasts. Oh, it's bang on 1.4. Oh, the how I built this. Okay. Is that still going, Paul? You said you used to listen to it. It's not going anymore. I am... Um, I listen to like some comedians that have podcasts just to break things up and not um and I listen to like cliche Joe Rogan and stuff. No worries, Richard. Thanks, man. Hi right, man. Uh I'm using uh Fusion three sixty. Some may call it, for me, it's really Confusion 360, to be honest. 
I'm gonna be honest with you. a direct hit right in the right in the clacker so easy once the uh the model's created to just copy it across all right too easy Too easy. <laughs> oh no, Paul. Hey, there's. I, I'm also. I'm also a huge YouTube addict, man. That's. Ah. Uh, It's impossible not to be. All right. Oh, um. All righty. Four five mil. Hmm.
All right, let's. Oh. All right. Um I wonder if there's any um audio coming through. Can anyone confirm or deny any music? I really hope that this works. I really hope so. Because it's quite chill and laid back. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Oh, you can hear it faintly. Okay, hang on. Hang on a second. What about now? Actually, that's going to blow my eardrums if I do that. Hang on. Let's see if I can put a bit of gain on this. What about now? Can you hear some music? Ah, awesome. Is it too loud? Like when I talk, you can still hear my voice or no? Hopefully it's alright. Awesome, thanks guys. 
hope you are well. Too, it's good to see you again. Paul, thank you for your feedback. Okay. Just like it's just some laid back backgroundish music. Hopefully nothing too offensive. I know a lot of my videos <laughs> cause uproar with some people. So I'm just doing my best. got to um let's make it in you can A lot of people left. Maybe the music wasn't a such a good idea. We'll see how it all goes. Oh no, not point six. All right. 
Alrighty. up one mil I don't know what do you guys think of this design <laughs> it's a bit weird it's a bit weird but uh What do you guys think? Does anyone in stream want to comment? Yes, no. Bit too funky. Looks all right. Very nice, but it's strange to see that not all the bridges are the same at the jewel point. Ah, I know what you mean. RM esque. RM? You mean here where it joins Richard? Where it joins like this section in here is not the same like you got this big gap? Oh Richard Mill, Richard Millet? Ah oh, god damn I hope not. Ah, uh, yeah, I see what you mean. A bit RM. Yeah. Yeah, Richard, I think, um, I, I don't know. I, I think it's the same. There's no continuity. I'm going to have to figure something out. This is like the first the first sketch um in terms of Richard Miller yeah I can see that but I don't know I just love these like I love this design um the vertical st stack I don't know why it's just the bridge that comes off it it's always gonna look yeah but uh
YouTube, I guess so. But, uh, uh, that really got to me, man. <laughs> Not gonna lie. That hit me in them feels, bro. RM. And then I looked up, because I'm not really a big fan of Richard Millay watches. Just got to figure it. It's just a, a challenge that needs figuring out. I got to figure out the design thing. I think the program has a feature get some screws on these other bridges and see what's uh and see what's what dude Do you think the music is a good idea or no? Looks weird without the wheels of the gear train. I just love this open space. We'll, we'll figure it out. How it's gonna... It's good to know. I just don't want people like sometimes I get quiet because I'm a bit concentrating or something. I don't want people to get bored.
What the hell? Oh no! That's not good. See if I can um music. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna make actually I'll type it out just in case. There we go, I'm getting better at this. Let's see how it stacks up with all the screws on you. And then I'll look at uh, putting the other recesses in um, the main plate and the barrel bridge. The lever's gonna be tricky. Not gonna lie. I believe it's gonna be pretty tricky. But we'll get there. I might dumb um, yeah. <laughs> my computer froze there for a second it's always nerve-wracking I'm, w I'm wondering when this computer's gonna cark it out alrighty wow look at that guys we have main plate third wheel bridge fourth wheel bridge and the escape wheel bridge how well it's going to work, how good it's going to look in the flesh is unknown at this point. I just, w yeah. Hi, Andy Darth. Yeah, look, um, it's true. It's true to have probably two points. Um, but yeah, you're right. What am I doing? I can't have the alignment pin on one. That will spin. Thanks, man. It's getting late for me. It's almost midnight here. So, yeah, that's good. Good pickup, man. 
I'm gonna have you on the design team. Uh we'll we'll nut out this uh <laughs> Imagine that 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 probably spin like Ah oh, sheesh, what am I doing? I was originally thinking of having um having uh the fourth wheel and the escape escape wheel on like the one bridge. I don't know what happened to that idea. Uh, maybe I'll join it here or something and get rid of get rid of this one. Then it'll look like spectacles. What's the distance between these two? One point five two. I think I got the um the balance over there. There's a huge recess for the balance wheel. Unfortunately. Yeah, that's exactly right. The good thing, like, I'm using the original le levers of the Edda 6498. So it's just about getting the um, spacing right for the drill holes. That looks rubbish.
What is going on with I don't like that at all. That looks Alright, that's fine. I'm not going to dwell on it too much. I'm just going to see how it goes. At least, at least that's going to work right. Darth.
Alright. I know it, it doesn't look it's very rough guys it's very very rough but uh, I just want to see how this looks if in my head it could uh, interesting I really don't know how it's gonna work oh well, let's see I'll just keep plugging away at the rest of the movement and see how the design is going to evolve evolve through Oh, that's why I couldn't see the sketches. This song is all right. This is a favorite. I love this song. All right, cool. Now let's uh, bum, 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 bum. alrighty. I still got the the center wheel. Super important. Where is it on the um my center wheel is ah uh, here. center wheel it's a very important one all right
Now it's looking. Now it's looking like a uh, a main plate. It's starting to look like it with the center hole and the uh, the recess for the. Um, For like the warning pinion and stuff hey sean how are you thanks man hey don't uh don't get too uh critical on me sean but what do you reckon about these bridges look it's my initial design i'm um i'm pretty excited about the uh the way the alignment pins the way the alignment pins are can you tell me what you think of these bridges don't worry about this uh third uh, the fourth escape we won that was a big debauchery but what do you think of these alignment pin screws Does it look rubbish or does it uh I, I definitely think like the actual bridge design needs a lot of work but i'm I, i'm loving this pillar stack what are your thoughts yeah you like that huh thanks man I'm gonna try. The bridges need a lot of work though. I I added like a little extra shaft on the screw. Just to like give it some separation like here. Like half. I don't know. I I think it looks better than it sitting flush down but i might just have to play with the dimensions because if it's too um if it's not wide enough it might actually damage the brass on that uh on the internal hole The song is very fitting right now. Yeah, it's actually, it actually sits like quite high. Like the screw head is like probably another additional 1.5 mil off what an existing uh, ETA 64908 bridge is. And it just like, and it'll show off like the screw, like a really nice made screw, polished. I think it'll like, It'll really, um, it'll really show it off. Hey, Tom. Thanks, man. Thank you very much, Tom. Welcome. I hope, uh, it's not too boring for you. Hey, Sean, is the music okay volume, you reckon? Just, I wanted something in the background. Some ambient stuff.
Okay, cool, cool. Thanks, Sean. Hey, Tom. That's awesome, man. Awesome to hear, bro. Do I think the technician level BHI gives a good grounding for it? Um. Yeah. I think it gives like a good insight on like how a, a time only watch sort of works. Um, it gives you, if you finish the technician level, it gives you, I think a lot of hand skills, man. There's a lot, like there's 12, uh, 12 chapters. So 12 like, uh, practical lessons. Um, a lot of filing. A lot of like you got screw making in there you got hardening you got tempering i think you make in the the frog tool to polish the screws as well i think i think the technician level of it gives you good understanding a good ground basic understanding and it gives you like good hand skills man honestly i think it does I just need it. Something funky is going on here. I don't know what the hell that hole is. Ah, oh, that's why these holes weren't aligning. <laughs> that's an issue. <laughs> there we go. Ah. Hey, welcome to the chat. Welcome to the video as well, Colo Kojo. Thanks, man. Uh, Sean, I think... um. On the uh, the top, this side of the main plate, I don't know. Maybe some perlage on the inter. I don't know. Maybe some perlage on the outside. Maybe frosted. I don't know. <laughs> oh no, he's trouble. Jack Matthew Ellum. How are you, man? It's good to see you. All right, guys, we can't show Jack any of the designs. Can't show his, uh, <laughs> no plagiarism. <laughs> now, Jack, if, if you guys don't know Jack, he's, uh, doing some pretty cool, uh, work. He's probably going to be making an awesome watch very soon. 
He's got some cracking machinery. And and most likely Sean Richards as well. I wanna see Sean in there. I'm still not finished with CAD and uh, no I, I want to see something like I want to see um the design look at this JM JM LM watches watch this space guys it's uh what's your handle Jack is it JLM is that your handle there dot watchmaking he's got some pretty cool stuff going on very cool look at the cows he's uh he's ditched the cows for a a shoblin wow <laughs> left me high and dry we will just letting everyone know jack and i were cows lathes brothers for life and then he went and got a shoblin lathe behind my back He just stuck a graver right into my heart. Hey, Jack, I'm just testing out some bridges, man. Um, I'll show you. It's more like I haven't figured out the bridge design, like how the arms are going to attach. I, I'm, I'm loving the pillar stack for the lime and pin screw stack. I just got to figure out a way of, um, sorry, my zoom's really bad. Let me get rid of sketches as well. Yeah. What are your thoughts? Yay, nay. nay okay nay to this pillar stack or to the bridges because i'm digging it what what do you guys what else sean liked it you're hating on my design skills jack <laughs> No, I haven't done um, the bridge for the balance and the palafort yet. Yet that that's coming soon. This is for the wheels. So this is the third wheel, the fourth wheel, and the escape wheel. Let's um let's keep moving. Oh yeah, for sure, Jack. I had the idea it um last night for that pillar stack with the screws and and I'm just doing it tonight. Um the bridge I don't know, I just winged it and see what would happen. 
obviously it needs a lot of work. I think I'd have to play with the location of where those pillars are going to sit and the width because I can't get too, th too thin on those bridge arms and how the bridge arms are actually going to work with the jewel holes. Yeah, no, no, I appreciate honesty. That's what I want. But yeah, the design was just uh, just tonight, like a, an hour or two ago, is when those bridges uh, came to life. I just wanted to see more so the pillar stack, because I really had that design in my head last night. The rest is still like a big blur, how it's going to attach. But I think if I needed to draw it out and then like, evolve it I think I think that's the plan and I think what's going to play a big part in that design is going to be how this how the barrel bridge will play out as well Yeah, working with Fusion, look, I think I'm figuring it out, man, but uh, I think the way I do things, some people wouldn't be impressed. <laughs> That's how I feel. Um, I got a lot to to learn, though. But I think I just got to keep going and, and see how, um, how it, uh, how it all pans out. I mean, the best way to learn is by doing so for me anyway, uh, minus 1.8. <laughs> what what do you mean jack what do you mean a lot of undefined sketches <laughs> look i think um solid works i feel like Fusion's good for like 
newbies and stuff and somebody that wants a easy to use complete package so you can design you can uh put the tool paths on there you can simulate it it's pretty good I think if you use SolidWorks, you're going to have to run another program to put the tool paths on it to send it to Cam. But look, if you're just doing design, it's probably a better, better starting point. For me, I think, for, for me, Fusion's probably the best where I am in life. Because I'm sure that if you get a program that's just suited to uh, CAM, you'll probably have better tool pathing than Fusion. I could be wrong, but usually programs that just do one thing usually do that one thing better than things that do many things. There we got the barrel bridge recess. Oh, you have cam in SolidWorks? Ah. Oh. Well, there you go. Hmm. Okay, I didn't know. Because I think somebody was saying the other day, I think uh, Josh Hacko, maybe he uses Inventor. I don't know. But then he uses like, um, uh, what program was it for the cam? I don't remember. He was using some other program for the toolpathing, I believe. You know what? I could be wrong, to be honest. <laughs> Let's... Uh, it's usually late when I'm doing these, so... It's like trying to hold water in your hands. That's how my brain retains information. Okay, but look man, all my sketches are black, dude. Seeing the blue ones. The blue ones will be moving all over the place. Ha what do you mean? How come that one's black? I don't know, dude. It seems to be working so far. Seven. That's uh, my height. <laughs> Thanks, Sean. We'll see how it goes, man. <laughs> like, probably my definitions is all out. Look at that, guys. That looks like a ETA 6498 main plate. Missing the most important bits, the lever and the uh, balance. Are you sure blue doesn't mean defined and black means it's undefined, Jack? I think that's... You might have been confused with SolidWorks.
Oof. Alrighty. <laughs> Are you sure? All right. Hang on. To ensure our model is predictable, we'll want to fully define our sketches. It's important to note that fully defined. Hmm, maybe that's a video I should uh, check out. I see what you're saying. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I agree with you. I think blue. I think you might be right, Jack. But I got to double check that. We gotta, we gotta double check this man's source of information. <laughs> See, Sean saying blue is, is really defined. Double defined, they call it. It means you can't move it. See, I can't move this circle. Look. <laughs> Actually, don't need that circle. Nor do I need these ones. Alright. <laughs> oh dear. I feel like Jack's gonna leave real soon. His tolerance level of this uh, clownishness behavior is, won't be tolerated. Let's see what this talent Any complications? No, N not on the first one, man.
Um, Um, yeah, I'm actually, yeah, it's gonna, it's also Jack, on top of that, it's gonna, on top of being like a petrol turbion minute repeater, it's also gonna do side real time, like dual time, and, uh, also where the, um, the earth is in relation to the, uh, the zodiac. to be Yeah, hi Alpa. I don't know what that was. It's uh, it could have been some Arabic pop. It sounded like it. Um, he was getting. I don't know what album that was. I just listened to some Epidemic sounds. Like I got a subscription, so I can play it on YouTube. Hi Tom. I'm from um Australia. How about yourself? Where's everyone from, guys? It'll be interesting to see. We had um, some people from England in before, and I can see we've got a couple more, Sean and uh, Jack. I think somebody might be from Germany. Um, I'm throwing a, throwing a dart blind there. Ah, oh, nice. Are oh, you living in Hong Kong? Wow, very cool. Tokyo. Wow, very cool. But you're from Germany. And and Sean says, G B G B G B. Hmm. Haven't heard of that country before. Maybe it's like um. Good, good Britain, ah, like decent Britain. <laughs> wow, that's pretty cool, guys. So you, Tom and Alpa, are both living in uh, different countries from where they were born. That's pretty cool. Ah, thanks, man. You do have a, a name that's a bit hard to pronounce. Um, I really don't want to say your name, but thank you. That that 
but uh that means a lot a lot i guess i'm just one dude fumbling his way through um if you want to become a watchmaker and you want to make watches i'm pretty sure you could do it better than me <laughs> a lot of people can but yeah i think um depends how you want to do it if you want to go to a school like if i had the opportunity if you have the opportunity to if i think that's really good like if i had the opportunity i'd love to go to a school um but if not then just learn from books man you can do the bhi course i highly recommend that there's a book um just research like books and stuff george daniels watchmaking and uh and start there but i reckon like i did the bhi distance course and what i liked about that was like it got you using hand tools from the beginning like filing making parts from steel making parts from brass on the watchmaker's lathe on the normal lathe and and just do it i think that's the that's the the main thing is just to do jump in man just jump in and do it and um don't let anybody tell you that you can't and just keep going man i still got a long way to go i haven't even made my first watch yet <laughs> but uh yeah uh very good paul that's okay i don't think i'm gonna leave australia although i'd like to the dream would be switzerland but we'll see so i converse like jack and sean from great britain morning harrison how are you thanks for joining Some say you need uh, no, Tom. I haven't. I haven't completed those, man. I need. Um, I think like it was need to travel to UK twice for me. I think to complete those exams. Once for the one. There's one exam in intermediate, and there's one. Um in the final so look it was gonna take a long time and, and for me at the end of the day like i don't want to do repairs and i think if you can follow that information and you practice like i mean what's sitting in an exam and getting a getting a piece of paper at the end of the day if what i want to do is try and make watches myself in my own place I think the information in there is really good and I and I've gone through that but yeah
Nice, nice. Thanks, Harrison. Yeah, everything's going good, good. That's nice. I just, uh, I can't have any more coffee. It's just past midnight. I won't be able to sleep later on if I do. Hmm. Yeah, Jack's Instagram's pretty good, man. Thanks, Tom, for checking that out. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. What do you, what do you design? Like, um, your mechanical, I guess, like machine parts or just everything? All types of stuff. Oh wow, for like, um, for the trucks. Sorry guys, I was just um, checking. Now I made this recess, but obviously a portion has got to fit the, um, the lever bridge. Oh wow, that's really cool, man. That's super cool. Hey Jack, in your opinion, the six four nine eight movement has like 
Where is it? So this bridge here is similar to like the 6498-1. Whoa. And the uh, the original unit has 6498 was just one side with one alignment pin and one screw hole. What what do you reckon in terms of like rigidity, Sean and, and Jack? Obviously two is stronger, but but do you need it? I think it's necessary. I guess it Edda thought so. But I'm just trying to find a picture of the um the original Maybe I should type Edda, I should type Unitas. What do they call it? The pallet fork bridge? I, uh, Jep, thanks, man. All the way from the Netherlands. Thanks for joining and thank you. Ah, uh, hang on. Hey, Josh, how are you, man? Yeah. You do? Because on the original, you know, the uh, the Unitas, did they have issues arise with just having it on the one side? Was that a big issue that caused the change? Sorry, just uh Hi Ludowick Ludowicko How are you? I can't find a picture of the original. Yeah, that's what I mean, Josh. Like, the original unit test, man, the tractor. But maybe I guess, like, I don't know. I'd still love to have it on one side. I'd still like to have it on one side. Yeah, I'm not sure. Ah, oh, here we go. This is the, um... They're done... Oh, no. That's not it either. Ah. Oh. Did it have two? Oh, I did have two alignment pins. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right, Josh. Yeah, it's super important, right? Ah, for some reason, I thought it only had one alignment pin, but why would it have a one? It doesn't make sense. It, it'd spin. It'd have... Uh, 
you'd always need to yeah okay fair enough maybe i'll uh maybe i'll stick with the the arrangement that they have yeah, you're right, Josh. Otherwise, it's gonna spin or so like it has uh, it can rotate on. I'm out of alignment. Uh, for the screw head, I think in this design, like I just had it at 2.1 millimeters, but uh. It could change. I'm going to be making them, so. Hi, Ludowicka. Yeah, I, I do have that book. Yeah, it's, it's a really great book, man. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to think about the design like to keep it consistent with the um with these alignment pins but how it's going to work with the balance Also, I haven't even got my center wheel bridge done. Will it connect to the ba barrel bridge? It's probably... Hey Harrison, yeah look I think I might be going with banking pins. On the uh, on the sides of the lever pallet. Look, I, I think I, I've measured out the dimensions around there, and like I could recess it, but I don't know. I do like the look of banking pins. I don't know why. I feel like it looks better than what's on the standard. ETA 6498 and also like it gives that flexibility of being able to slightly adjust it but we'll see we'll see how it goes it uh it brings more core to like the olden days All right, how am I going to do this balance wheel bridge balance bridge? train bridge is a bit easier to design but I don't know how I'm gonna be consistent
Let's go. Are we? yeah that's that's one of my concerns with the way i've designed the screw head like it has that uh thinner diameter shank just um holding down that bridge it was more like a design feature but i do have serious concerns about um deforming the brass underneath it I don't know how this is. This is like a first sketch, guys, so. Don't worry too much. I might scrap this whole design too. No worries, Sean. Thanks for stopping by, man. Chatting. It was good. Uh, thanks, bro. Take care. Have a good day, huh? to come up tracks check my whatsapp oh wow jack is just showing off here um Is it alright if I show everyone Jack?
Is there for subject? Oh wow, look at this. Jack Ellum. He's got the um the SIP two one f M M U two one four B Um That's really awesome man Did you put a spindle on that? It wasn't designed for, for milling, right? They only had, it was only for measuring. Wow. Is that a... Give us the juice. Is it an ER11 collet? What's the, what's the sizing? Sixty thousand RPM spindle, huh? Wow. Yeah, so you'll be using it like a jig borer. That is crazy, Jack. That is crazy. Beautiful machine. It's like the one uh, Vienna Halter converted to CNC. Jack said he's going to convert his to CNC later. A CHK call it. Ah, wow. Now, I joke, Jack really doesn't want to... Um, Converted to CNC. Less than one micron run out from the spindle, from the collet. Yeah. CHK collets. Okay. So that's proprietary collet for that. Uh, Nakanishi spindle. Wow. They're kind of like the old. Um, the pantograph bullet shape. Wow, very cool, Jack, man. And this is Schoblin. Oh, Harrison, like, no, I, I have Discord, but I don't have, like, a channel or anything on there. Okay, yeah, it looks like it has, um, less, like, a, I don't know what you call them, the, the flexure or the, the slits in the collar, yeah? So it's more like you got to get bang on with your um your tool to call it size. Is that right, Jack? I'm no expert with collets, but that's just my estimate. Like it's more rigid than um, the ERs. That's probably why you're getting the better run out. All right, no worries. Thanks so much, man. Thank you. Thanks for the subscribe and, and following my work. Hopefully, I do not disappoint. Yeah. Cool. That's what I thought, yeah. Uh, oh, I can't 
can't use these pins. I need to design new ones. So, yeah. These are like alignment pin and columns in one for the bridges. And so the height of the underside of the bridge is dependent on the height of this alignment pin. So the flange is designed for the wheels. I haven't designed it for this, um, for the balance wheel. Because it's getting late and I'm not thinking things through properly. Hi Julian, thanks for joining. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yes, thanks Julian. Thank you for the for the tips. I I know that much. Like I've learned recently. I'm still learning uh, fusion, but I have learned about the component thing. I've just, um, I'm just trying to flush out a design real quick and see how things are going to look right now. But yeah, that's definitely something I'm going to keep working at, um, with fusion. And, uh, I just don't know, like, would you create? I was thinking this just before. Would you, for every, like, say you have a, a bridge, would you create one component for that bridge? And, like, the main plate is one component, each bridge is one component? Or would you lump, like, all the bridges in one component? Just what your thought process would be, Julian. So you'd have one component for each part. Ah, damn. Even though, like, okay. Hmm. All right. It's definitely something that I'm going to look at. Look at. At the end of the day, I'm just using Fusion to do the holes. And all the recesses I'm going to do in the lathe anyway, so... I don't know, like, how pretty cool these things are going to be, but we'll figure it out. Maybe if the Bantam has anything more than... In it, maybe I might actually do some components. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I get you, Julian. Yeah. A hundred percent. Yeah. I agree with. All right. Uh, damn. It is uh, getting a bit late for me, guys. But uh, yeah, I don't know. This is uh, what I nutted out. I, ha I came up with a design. Um, if you weren't here earlier, I came up with a design last night in my head just for like um, the alignment pins and pillars in one. And I just wanted to flesh it out and see what it looks like in. Um, uh, 
on the watch but yeah something like this and and i think that's what the the german guy was saying before like i have this as a design element like a a lower shank on the screw i don't know just because i want to try and showcase like a really nice handmade screw but it might like have too much crushing force on the inside diameter ring of the brass piece it might actually like deform the metal i just got to figure out diameters maybe i'll splay that out a bit and yeah the what what happens actually from these pillars to the the hole is still uh a big work in progress but uh Yeah, I want something. I'm just really happy that I could flesh out this um this design that was in my head for these pillars. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Yeah, okay. Thank you all for for joining um the chat i think i'm gonna call it a night and uh end the stream here um it was good it was good progress it was good to see what those pillars look like on the plate i just want a clean like a clean finish underneath too so maybe you can add some decoration in there it gives like the person like a 3d view of the watch it accentuates features of like the screws yeah anyway thanks so much guys thank you and we'll see how we go later it's good to like yeah, even though there's only a few people in here and it's really cool actually connect with you guys and you guys help me out hopefully there'll be one stream where i actually do something like super productive like i actually have it designed and i cut it out on the bantam everything live but one actual thing is is actually pretty cool with this live stream so i got a usb extension cable for my camera so i can take the camera over to the bench so maybe when i'm like making these screws or like making these alignment pin column things i can uh i can live stream it straight from the watchmaker's lathe to the computer which is pretty cool man and uh yeah i hope you guys stick around and uh like that sort of content awesome man tom yeah hey tom if you watch the more you watch me you learn you learn not what to do and that's the best way to learn harrison yeah i, I know it's i'm figuring it out i'm trying to nut out which <sighs> the best times um to start the live stream obviously like if i start these at like 2 a.m it's probably best for the audience um but I, i'm just playing with like times at the moment um so this is like the fourth stream i've done and it's been at a different time so today i started earlier and i think like it's had probably less engagement than the other ones so maybe i, I will start them um later um but i'll make an announcement if you do follow me on instagram or if youtube if you have the notifications on i send like um i'm going to send out like a picture when i start an exact time of when i'm going to do the live streams and i'll have it out i'm just trying to nut out the best time what's going to work for me to do this consistently and obviously have a a good audience as well so yeah it, definitely i'll figure it out soon i'm leaning towards more probably starting about this time and um 
just what days and stuff I'm going to do that. I, I just need to figure that out. Thank you. Th thanks so much, Paul. I really appreciate that, man. I hope so too. It's not long to go now. I'm getting really nervous. Okay, guys. Take care. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you soon.